Hello everybody, I am Chris Provost and you're watching Provost Park Pass and today I'm going to show you exactly how to maximize your time here in Disney California Adventure. A little while ago, I made a video about how to rope drop Disneyland and people are like, hey, can you do a video on how to rope drop Disney California Adventure? That's what we're going to do today. Let's maximize our time here in Disney California Adventure. Okay, so here we are walking down Buena Vista Street. When you come to Disney California Adventure and you want to maximize your time like you're rope dropping, it's a totally different beast than Disneyland. So you kind of have to divide and conquer this land. You can't like just rope drop all the things you want because it's so spread out. So you have to choose what you want to talk, what you want to do, what you want to do first. Now, in my mind's eye, there are four major attractions that you have to do here. You've got uh, cars, ride or radiator, radiator racers, Guardians Galaxy Mission Breakout. You've got uh, Midway Mania and then Credit Coaster. Those are your top tier. Then below that, just right below that, you got Soren around the world. You got Grizzly, the River Rapids, you don't mind getting wet. And then you also have Goofy's Flight School and uh, the Pixar Pal Around. Those are some really fun rides. And then below that, you got some other attractions that you can kind of do at your leisure. Go real fast, bam, 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 bam. Now, Web Slingers is also in there, obviously, that'd be in there as well. Now, the four that you really have to think, you really want to focus on is Radiator Racers, Radiator Racers, Cars Ride. You got to think about um, Guardians Galaxy, Mission Breakout, Midway Media and Credit Coaster. So I'm gonna kind of show you a map and show you why it's a little more difficult here at Disney California Adventure. This here is a map of Buena Vista Street. You go right down here, and these are the major uh, areas. You got Hollywood Land right down here, you got Avengers Campus, Cars Land, Pixar Pier, Pacific Wharf, Grizzly Peak down here, and then of course you got Paradise Gardens. Now, here's the problem we have with Disney California Adventure. I mean, I love it. You've got Pixar Pier all the way down here, and then Carsland's all the way over here, and Avenger Campus is all the way over there. So when you look at it, you can see it's all spread out. In the morning time, when you're getting ready to rope drop this, you have to keep in mind, Disney California Adventure is open early for people who stay on property. So they're already gonna be here. And if you rope drop and go straight through cars, right, it's still gonna have a little bit of a line. I'll talk about that more in a minute. So you have to kind of really decide what you wanna to try to do first. There is gonna be some people here though, because it's always open for Magic Morning, and almost all the attractions are open. And I'm gonna go off of the assumption that you're not getting Genie Plus and not doing individual lightning lanes, but we'll talk about that a little bit later on the video too if you want to on how to maybe uh, get on this ride a little bit quicker. So you have to decide, maybe doing Avengers Campus first and Cars Lens first, or you come over here and do Pixar Pier first. You cannot do, you can't really do Pixar Pier and Cars Lens first. It's too much of a, of a walk because you have to walk all the way down here and all the way there to get there. So you kind of have to choose which one is most important to you you want to do first. I'm going to assume that you're thinking Cars Land first. So let's talk about Cars Land first and how to do that right off the bat. When you line up a rope drop, you have to line up right here by Cartley Circle. Now, some people say go that way for Cars Land, but I wouldn't do that going to Hollywood Land. You're going to go right down this main street here. And the main reason is if you go through Cars, if you go through Hollywood, uh, Hollywood Land over there, you can sometimes get bottlenecked at Guardians of the Galaxy when trying to get to Cars Land. You are gonna come right down here to Cars Land and some other people might tell you to go into Avengers Campus to cut through into Cars Land, but I would also not advise doing that because if you get to the ride, the line will be kind of long. You have to go backtrack to where you're gonna go. So you're gonna walk all the way down here and then you can turn left right into Cars Land. Keep in mind that even though that you might be rope dropping this and you get there right at the, bam, you're first. There is going to be about a 45 minute wait even if you rope dropped it. And the reason is, is because they have the Magic Mornings and people with the Magic Mornings, they are also going to cars first. So they're like bam, 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 bam. So right if you get there, it's gonna be a 45 minute wait, right at the back. Now some people are like, oh my gosh. But a 45 minute wait is better than a two hour wait, which is what it's gonna probably be at the middle of the day. So be aware of that. But if you're okay buying an individual lightning lane, like those individual lightning lanes, and that costs about $7, variable pricing up to $20 per person depending on how crowded the day is then do not go to Cars Land first uh, save that individual lightning lane until when it's crowded in the afternoon so you're gonna skip Cars Land first if you are okay buying the individual lightning lane if you do not want to buy the individual lightning lane and you want to go there then you go straight to Cars Land and right here this is the Cars Land area you're gonna go right down to Cars Land and go straight down this road all the way to the very end and then turn right and that's where it's going to take you to the car's ride and that is it's it's a really really fun ride of all the rides here in disney california adventure it's the it's the best ride it's one of the best i mean it's so good it's amazing 
It's probably one of the best rides in almost all the Disney parks around the world. It's a very, very, very well done, very well themed, and it's amazing. So I'll show you this here. It's gonna come all the way down here where it says the town of Radiator Springs, and you're gonna turn right, and that's gonna take you right to the Radiator Racers. And it's right there. The Radiator Racers is right there. It looks like it's closed right now, but I'm gonna show you one other thing you can do. If you're waiting it going down here, it's always gonna be a long line. It's always gonna be, it's gonna be crowded because it's such a good attraction. But they do have right there, if you see it, it's a single rider lane. If you don't mind going single, you know, like if you don't mind breaking up your family, you can do this single file, the single rider lane. It will reduce the time. So from maybe like 45 minutes down to maybe like 20 minutes, but you won't be riding with your family. So you don't mind doing that. You can just take the single rider lane as well. They'll just, when they get availability, they'll pop you in a car and you get to go. It is awesome. Such a good attraction. One of the best. Chef's kiss. Love it. I'd ride it all day long if I could. Edgar, I got a question to ask you. What's up? Do you know what oh, light? No, no, no. We got we got other people. They want. No. Oh, you want to hear it? Okay, let's Come on over here. Okay, we're gonna go over here. They want to hear it. Say hey, hi guys. Hi, hi. All right, guys. Here we go. Edgar, I got a question for you. What's up? Do you know what Lightning McQueen's favorite food is? Gasoline. No, no. Kachow Maine. <laughs> Gasoline. <laughs> How are you guys? Thank you. <laughs> Kachow Maine. Come on, it's amazing. I love the cast members so much. They're fun. They, I, I mean, I just love them. They make the, they make it so enjoyable here for us. I love that answer though. Edgar's like, his favorite food's gasoline. I'm like, no, Edgar. Kachow Maine. Now, right when you're done with uh, radiator racers or cars ride. You can rush over and you need to go do uh, Guardians Galaxy Mission Breakout. Now, if you are if you are going to buy the individual Lightning Lane uh, and you're for uh, Radius Racers or Cars Ride, I'm gonna call it the Cars Ride because I have a hard time saying that, uh, the Cars Ride, then I would come straight to Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Now, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout is the only attraction on this list that I'm gonna say this. You need to at least ride it twice, absolutely twice because it has six different songs when you write it, and each song is different. The drop sequence are different on each song. So it's a different ride every time you write it. And every time I ride the ride, I like it more and more and more. It's such an amazing attraction, it's so good. So be sure that you ride uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Mission Breakout. Uh, it is very windy, so I'm gonna try to get it over here where it's not quite as windy. There's Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, and this, this attraction is so fun. Oops. This attraction is so fun. Now, if you're gonna rope drop that, you're gonna come straight down Hollywood and go right here to the Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. It's gonna be about a 30 to 35 minute wait right off the bat, uh, right in the morning. Right now, it's in the afternoon, it's like a 70 minute wait, which is very normal and very typical. But you do need to ride this twice. I would recommend riding this twice, maybe once in the morning, then once before you go home. Because every time you ride it, it's gonna be a little bit different. It is wonderful. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, what about web slingers? Do you rush the web slingers? You absolutely can. Uh, Web Slingers is always is about a 45 minute wait during most of the time. So, I mean, you could get there pretty early. If you get there, it's gonna be about a 15 minute wait. You'll be able to save a little bit of time. And if you wanna buy the individual lightning lane, you can just kind of skip that line as well for, uh, for uh, Web Slingers. So that's, I mean, I don't re recommend going straight to it because it's usually not too bad. Like Cars and, and Mission uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Those lines get to be really, really, really big. Now let's talk about, let's say you wanted, let's say you weren't interested in doing cars or mission uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. You wanted to do like Incredicoaster and Midway Mania first. Uh, that's okay, we're gonna talk, I'll show you how to do that. Just keep in mind that the reason, it's a little bit more difficult here at Disney California Adventure because it's so spread out. If I did do cars and mission breakout first, by the time I get over to, uh, Midway Mania, it's gonna have a long line. You're gonna miss that miss that magic morning type of thing. So you just you just can't get them all in that early morning. I wish you could. All right, so now here I am at the top of Buena Vista Street pretending that we're doing rope drop. Now some people might say, well, can you rope drop and go do straight to Soren? Yes, you can. And uh, that way, if you do, it won't take you very long. Soren is just right behind me. And it takes about, you get there and take about 25 minutes. During the day, it's gonna be about a 35 to 45 minute wait. Now I'm gonna show you how we do this if we were actually doing, um, if we are doing this for rope dropping in Credit Coaster and Midway Mania. Okay, and here we are at the top of Wendy Street. This is where they're gonna have you lined up. Hi guys. 
Right, so we're gonna walk down. It's a little bit of a walk when you're coming into Buena Vista Street. Then we're gonna walk down here. We're gonna walk past Avengers Campus. We're gonna walk past Cars Land. We're gonna walk past Pacific Pier and go right into uh, Paradise uh, to the Pixar Pier Bridge. Wait a minute. Have you hit that like button yet? Okay, let's continue on. So we were rope dropping and it'd be a big crowd right here and then most of the crowds would be turning left going into Cars Land because they want to go ride cars right. But we are going to be rope dropping over here for Midway Mania. So we're going to keep going to the right. And this is a good time to talk to you guys just for a brief moment as we're walking over here to go to Pixar Pier. I just want to tell you guys how amazing you are. And I am talking to you. I know you might be thinking, ah, not me. I am. I'm talking to you. I want you to know that you make the world a better place and that you are awesome. And because you are here, uh, it, makes, it brings happiness to other people. Hi guys, how are you? The world is better because you are in it. You bring people joy and happiness by being here. I know that some of you might be struggling and might be wondering like, why me? And why does sometimes, why does bad things happen to good people? I don't know, and I hate it, it's terrible. I don't want any bad things to happen to even bad people. I just don't want bad things to happen, but bad things sometimes do happen. The thing that we know is we're just gonna get up, we're gonna learn from that lesson, and we're gonna keep moving forward. And you are gonna keep doing that. You are gonna keep going forward and keep being awesome because you are awesome. I just want you to know that you are amazing and you are special and you're great. And we love you here at Pro's Park Pass. All right, let's continue on. All right, so now we're gonna cross over this. This is taking us over here. There's the credit coaster and then the Midway Mania is right over there. So let's go take a look at this Pixar Pier. As you walk through here, you'll walk under an awning and if you look up, you're gonna see some metal work there. And what do you see? These are all Pixar characters. It's awesome. All right, continue on right here. I'm gonna walk around and then kind of curve to the right. You're gonna notice there's some stars up there. There's a Pixar show ca short called La Luna Starcatcher. That's kind of a remembrance to that. And then right over here, you have the adorable snowman frost treats. They are delicious. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Is Coco one of the best Pixar movies of all time? I think it's very close. It could be. All right, so this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna be walking down here for rope drop and you're gonna see Incredicoaster is gonna be on your left-hand side. And you're gonna be very tempted because when you get there, it's going to say 10 minute wait if you're rope dropping Midway Mania. And you're like, oh my gosh, it's only 10 minute wait, just jump on it. The thing about the Incredicoaster is it's in a very efficient loader. I mean, they get people on and off that ride very fast. So don't jump in there because by doing that, then the line for Midway Mania is gonna get a lot longer by the time that you get off. So even though the line looks short when you first get here, you just keep going past it. Once you're done with Midway Mania, you can turn around and come back and do the Incredicoaster. I mean, it's a very, even during peak times, the lines will ever, I mean, the, the lines go by so fast. It's a very efficient loader. All right, we're gonna walk on here. Right here we have Jester's Critter Carousel. That's a little, you know, a little carousel. Kids love it. Don't go there first thing in the morning though because that's never a long line. We're gonna keep going right over here to Midway Mania. Now Midway Mania is such a fun attraction. It doesn't matter age, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, any, the whole family can ride it. You're gonna be shooting little things. It's, it's kind of like a video game slash ride and it is amazing. When I say amazing, I mean, it's one of my top favorite rides. I love it, I get very competitive with my friends on it, and it's always a really fun, fun time. Uh, but the lines get kinda long here, so you wanna come down here first thing in the morning and get on this. Once you've done this attraction though, then you turn around and you go hit Incredicoaster. Now, Incredicoaster does have a single rider line, if you don't mind breaking up the family, but uh, if you come down here first thing in the morning, it's gonna be about a 25 minute wait. Right now, it's mid-afternoon. It's a 50-minute wait right now, so you're saving up. You're saving quite a bit of time by coming here first thing in the morning. I just have to show this because I love these trash cans here. It's my favorite trash cans. I just love it. It's the wallpaper from Andy's room. Little clouds. Uh -huh. Okay, so now let's just pretend that we just rode the uh, Midway Mania. Now we're now going to go into the Incredicoaster, and you're going you're to get right off that right. And the second ride you're going to do is the Incredicoaster. Very fun roller coaster. Most people don't realize this though. When you go over, there's a giant hill, that one right there behind me. They pump that tunnel with smells of cookie. And when you go over the top, he's like, uh, Jack, Jack, num, num, cookie. Most people are screaming and laughing. But if you inhale rather than scream, you'll smell all the cookie smells, which is awesome.
Right now it's pretty crowded, but it's only about a 30 minute line. And these lines go by very fast, very, very fast for a credit coaster. If you're so inclined that you want to do the single file line, it's actually out here, the exit right here is where this line here is single file. Yes, hi. And yeah, if you don't mind like splitting your family up, you do the single, the single rider line right here. But literally this is a very efficient line, ride. And you guys, you'll get on quick. You'll get on very quick. Now, let's pretend for whatever reason, you're like, Chris, I'm not interested in uh, Mission, uh, Guardians Galaxy Mission Breakout, I'm not interested in cars, I'm not interested in Midway Mania, and I'm not interested in a credit coaster. Then, what would you recommend? Well, that, I would recommend at that point, Soren, I'd go to Soren next. Uh, that would be the, the one that I'd go to first, if that's, if you don't mind motion. If you're like, nope, I don't want that, then I would recommend going to Goofy's Flight School. That's never too long of a line usually, but you go to Goofy's Flight School. If you're like, nope, I don't want to do that, then I would go to Web Slingers. That would be what I, I try to do. Web Slingers also has individual lanes. If it gets really long, you can, without using Genie, you can buy the individual lighting lane for that particular attraction. Um, but it's usually about a 35 to 45 minute wait. So it's not too bad. The one thing about Web Slingers is, if you do want a rope drop and go straight to Web Slingers, you're gonna get on pretty quick. It's gonna be 10 to 15 minutes if you rope drop and go straight there. So if that is something super important, like if you have somebody in your family that's a diehard Spider-Man fan and that's what they wanna do, then you can rope drop web slingers uh, and do that. And just be aware that the ride takes a little bit longer. So when the ride's over, you're gonna probably go straight from there to Guardians because by that time, the Cars line is gonna be long. Cars is just so good, but it gets, it just fills up really fast. It's just, but it's worth it. Okay, so we do need to talk about this. So what about food? For your foodies, like what food do you eat? I'll show you where you want to go for food. Right here is the Pacific Wharf. It's a little bridge that take you in. This is a full food area. You come right in here, and this is gonna have lots of different restaurants right in here. Right over here, we have the Cocina Cucamonga. Excellent, excellent food. It's amazing. Right here, we have the Cafe Bakery. This is like bread bowls. And then right over there, you have the Lucky Fortune Cookery, which is like some Asian fare. But this is the super and This right here, the top one right there, the queso bria, that is one of the best things that you'll ever have, ever. It is so good. That's your number one. I mean, that's the number one. Woo! The divas, they are amazing. One of the very best, you guys are so good. Thank you. Happy holidays. Now, you might be like, Chris, you've shown food, you've shown rides, how to do that. You've shown food. But well, what about the most important dessert? No problem, I got you covered. Let me go show you where you go for dessert. Right here, we're still in the Pacific Wharf. It's got the little candy company where there's a little alleyway. We're walking right down here. That is what we're looking for, is right there. It's Ghirardelli's, it says soda fountain and chocolate shop. This is where you want to go and you're going to get some of the most amazing ice cream treats that you can even handle. These are to die for. Amanda loves them. She says they're the best, the best around, and they are amazing. But if you're like, that's not enough ice cream for me, Chris. I want more ice cream. Well, then let me show you one other place here in DCA that you need to visit. All right, so let me show you another ice cream shop. Speaking of ice cream, did you hear about the ice cream bandit? Yeah, he was one smooth cream manol. <laughs> Do you know what the electrician's favorite type of ice cream is? shock a lot <laughs> what about dracula what do you think his favorite ice cream is i bet you it's vanilla what about deer i bet you deer's is cookie dough <laughs> all right so here we are at the top of buena vista street right here we have the ellison uh, arcade and then right next to it we have clarabelle's hand scooped ice cream and this is where we want to go in here to see the hand scooped ice cream and they have some amazing ice cream treats. I mean, these are, these are like legit. Like, <laughs> like, you're, like you're, look at these sundaes. These are called the kitchen sinks. That's the Oswald, there's the mint, uh, the mint chocolate chip, the chocolate chip uh, cookie and a hot fudge, the strawberry. I bet you mint ice cream is pretty good at poker because it has so many chips. <laughs> then right over here, they have these hand dipped ice cream bars. It's the chocolate chip uh, morsels, the blueberry uh, burst, the Mickey's confetti, and the whole herd. These are very popular and people love these. You can only get them here at Clarabelle's Ice Cream. 
All right, so we need to talk a little about Disney California Adventure because it is different than Disneyland. Now, you have to realize, hey, how are you? Hi. You have to realize that even if it's really crowded, you're still gonna probably be able to complete everything here at Disney California Adventure. Um, it, there's, it's not quite as big as Disneyland, there's not as many attractions, so it doesn't matter if it's super crowded, you should be able to go ahead and get all the attractions done. Even if you if you get like kind of like waylaid and look around, all these other things, which is what you want to do on a vacation at Disney. Just enjoy the food, enjoy the sights. Hi, how are you? Literally, Disney California Adventure, I love it. It's a lot of fun, has a different vibe than Disney, but it is cool, it's fun, it's relaxing, and you'll be able to get through pretty much almost everything you want to, and not a problem at all. So the only, the best part though, if you do do rope dropping like that and get all the attractions done that you want done, you have more time to shop and look at souvenirs and eat food and make memories with your family. So I just want you guys to know that you are amazing. Oh, wait a minute. If you haven't, could you go ahead and, and like this video? And also, could you hit the subscribe button? Because you know that we have videos come out three days a week about all kinds of content. And if you hit that, you don't, you can hit subscribe to it. That helps me know that you like the content. If you want to watch it, then hit that notification bell. And the notification bell, will be, you'll be notified whenever we post a new video or when Amanda and I go live. We don't go live very often, so that's a rarity. But every once in a while we do, so you can see that. Thanks, guys, and you have a fantastic day. Remember how awesome special you are. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Disney California Adventure is so fun. I think you'll like it. Yes, you will. Go to Disney California Adventure. Have some fun. Ride some rides. Be sure to ride Mission Breakout twice because it is so good. Uh, boom, 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 boom,